I heard a video today about Terrence Crawford ducking Kell Brooks. Obviously, this guy doesn't like Terrence Crawford because he was top rank, and he thinks he should be with the PBC. And he belongs to a group called the LDBC on YouTube. These are pro-black channels that only like black fighters. But they don't like Terrence Crawford because he's with a white promoter. Also, they say Terrence Crawford does not do interview with black media. And I don't believe that either. I, just, I think Terrence Crawford is very selective who he talks to. So I guess if a fighter doesn't reach their criteria, they start tearing into him. The video today was about how Terrence Crawford is ducking Kell Brooks. I just want to get my two cents. There is no benefit for Terrence Crawford to fight Kell Brooks. Kell Brooks went up to 160 to fight Triple G. He got stopped in that fight and he got his face broken. And before the Triple G fight, I thought Kell Brooks was good, not great. So after that, he goes fight Errol Spence. He's coming down from 160 to defend his Walter Wade title, IBF title against Errol Spence. No tune up, a wounded animal. That's how PBC likes to do it. I watched the fight. It was a very competitive. Errol Spence wears him down in the 11th round. I think Kell Brooks gave in because he broke his other eye socket. Now, once your face is fractured, it's easy to refracture it. Kell Brooks is damaged, and he was damaged before he fought Errol Spence. Now, they coming out with this false narrative that Errol Spence damaged Kell Brooks. It was Triple G. So what would happen if Terrence Crawford got in the ring with Kell Brooks and he knocks him out in four or five rounds? What are they going to say? What they're going to say is, well, Terrence Crawford fought Errol Spence's leftovers. He already damaged Kell Brooks. When the facts are, it's Triple G damaged Kell Brooks. Errol Spence and his management team jumped on that, and Kell Brooks had to go back down to 147. And everybody knows it's easier to go up weight than drop back down to weight. And not just that, Kell Brooks went in there cold. He didn't even get a tune up at Walter Waite. And for eight rounds, he was still giving Spence a fight. The only way I see Terrence Crawford fight Kell Brooks is over there in London, and that's to build his brand up. Other than that, it's useless. It just seems to me that the PBC and the LDBC are trying to set up roadblocks for Terrence Crawford. I said it before in many a video, they're gonna age Terrence Crawford out and make him fight Spence at 154. A lot of fighters today are all bark and no bite. Leave your comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm out.